Need to turn off your active campaign double opt-in settings and revert to single opt-in? In this quick video, you'll learn how to do that, plus why you probably don't want to do this for your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's check it out. Now, before I show you how to turn off your double opt-in and active campaign, let's first go over the difference between double and single opt-in. The key is really in the name. So double opt-in, which you might be familiar with already, is a two-step process where a contact first submits a form and then they have to confirm that subscription via a link in an email that they receive when they submit the form. So the first step when they submit the form, they're actually added as unconfirmed subscribers to your CRM and active campaign. So they don't count towards your overall contact limit, but they also can't receive email from you yet. That's a key point to keep in mind. So again, they have to confirm their subscription by clicking the confirmation link in the first email that they receive. Now, as soon as they do click that link, their status will change to active and they can now receive emails that you're sending to the list that you've subscribed them to. Okay, now there are pros of a double opt-in, cons of a double opt-in. I first wanna start by saying, we always choose to have a double opt-in and, and here's why. The pros of a double opt-in are that it ensures contacts who actually want to hear from you are giving you the correct information so they can receive the emails that you're sending out to them, okay? If they go through that double opt-in process and they confirm on the second step, that means they're more likely to engage. Adding in an additional step is to see in the cons, it's actually adding more friction. So anyone that goes through the trouble of confirming it in the email, it's actually showing more motivation that they want to, to engage more interest um, in your brand. You also have fewer spam complaints because if someone signs up for something, maybe by accident, you know, we, we go through a lot of uh, websites, web pages during a day, and maybe they signed up for something by accident. Uh, or they don't remember that they signed up or somehow their email got, got, you know, leaked on a list and they got, auto subscribed and there's no double opt-in for them to confirm in their, their email, they may mark your emails as spam and that's going to hurt your deliverability in the future. So uh, reducing that is always good. Next, it also satisfies privacy requirements. So in many countries, especially those impacted by GDPR, it's actually required. It's not only best practices, it's, it's a requirement that you have double opt-in so that people can confirm they actually wanna receive that communication from you and your brand. And then finally, it helps protect against spam contacts from being added. Uh, bots can fill out forms. You can check out this video here where we show you another way that you can help prevent uh, bot form submissions, but having double opt-in is definitely going to be one of your primary ways to prevent those bot form submissions. Now, let's go over the cons of a double opt-in. There are only two really, and that is more steps equals more friction equals some people who are actually interested in receiving your content won't because they won't take that extra step to confirm in the email. Maybe it gets lost in their email, who knows, everyone's busy, uh, but that means that you may have a potentially smaller list of engaged and active subscribers. Here at Wildmail, we'll always take a smaller, more engaged list that we've actually built authentic relationships with and that actually wants to hear from us over a larger list that's filled with spam contacts or that's not as engaged. So let's talk about single opt-in now. For single opt-in, there's no confirmation by email like with double opt-in. So a contact fills out a form and they're automatically added as an active contact inside your active campaign CRM. So one, they can receive emails from you and two, they do count towards your contact limit. There are a few pros of a single opt-in. It allows them to join your list so they can start receiving messages right away. That could potentially be a pro for your business. And there's one less step or less friction, as I mentioned before, uh, that a contact needs to take before they can receive messages from you. However, again, I'd rather introduce more friction and know that I'm getting a better quality of contact that I can then go on to build a relationship with. So let's check out the cons. Contacts may end up on your list that didn't want to receive those emails, then they mark your emails as spam, then that impacts your deliverability in the future, so you don't want to risk that. And they also can get added to your list as active contacts, and that's going to count towards your contact limit. So you'll be paying for contacts that you'll never be able to actually market to and that you'll never be able to build that relationship with. So those are the two key cons. So if we go back to the pros of a double opt-in, you pretty much get the opposite of what we have here for the pros when you switch to a single opt-in. So you won't be meeting privacy requirements. You won't ensure that contacts actually want to hear from you and that their info is correct. Uh, you may get people that are less likely to engage with their communications or who won't engage with your communications at all because they're spam. So just take a look at the pros here again and decide for yourself if it really makes sense to revert back to a single opt-in. If it does, these next steps will show you how to turn the default, which is the double opt-in setting, to single opt-in for your forms. So to turn off your double opt-in in Active Campaign, we're first going to jump into Active Campaign, of course, or in this case, you'll see the W. This is part of Wildmail, our rebranded white-labeled version of Active Campaign, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the tutorial. So 
First, what we're going to do is click site on the left hand menu, go to forms, and we're going to locate the form that we want to work with, or we're going to click and create a new form. So in the left hand, go to site. Go down to forms. And we're just going to create a new form for this case. So we'll say test in line, subscribe to our main list and hit create. Now that we're in the form that we want to work with, you can see here it says the form builder will load, all editing and style options will appear in the right pane. Click the options tab located on the right pane. So we're gonna click options and we're gonna find form action section and click the settings gear icon. So over in the right options, we're gonna go down to the gear icon next to the list and you'll see it says opt-in options and then opt-in confirmation. It's always turned on by default for the double opt-in, but we're gonna turn this off, hit save, and you have reverted back to the single opt-in option inside Active Campaign. If you have any questions at all about how to set this up or whether or not you should be using double opt-in or single opt-in, just drop them in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you out with that. Now, I mentioned earlier I'd explain more about Wild Mail. And at Wild Mail, we are one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world. And at its core, Wild Mail is just Active Campaign. So nothing changes with your pricing, your API integrations, your email sequences, your campaigns, your login, your password. It all stays the same because it is Active Campaign at its core. We inherit your next billing cycle, so you don't get charged anything additional by us, but your next billing cycle will be through us, and then that allows us to stack additional benefits for free on top, especially for Europe-based businesses. So first, we've got premium localized support. We are based in Europe. We're delivering it in different languages, English, French, Spanish, German, Romanian, and we're leveraging years of experience as an active campaign agency in the past to help you get the most out of this tool today. You'll get custom onboarding with our support team, plus anyone on a plus plan or above will get a package of free consulting calls with us. If you're already working with a third party agency or in-house, no worries, we'll do it with them. Now, we also have a library of free training you can use. And finally, we have Wild Metrics. Wild Metrics is our no code API based tracking app for the customer journey in Active Campaign. This allows you to track revenue by tags, revenue by automations, revenue by email campaigns. You can build out beautiful dashboards to make sense of the data and then optimize your campaigns to hit your next revenue goal. And you'll get a free account for that as well. So if you've never used Active Campaign before or Wild Mail, you'll see a link below for a 14 day free trial through us. If you are using Active Campaign, no worries, you can move. There's no migration process. It's just moving the billing to us. It's a five to 10 minute process, super fast, and we can help you with that process. There's another link for moving your account below to get those additional benefits for free. And if you have any questions at all about wild mail, just drop them below in the comments or shoot us an email and we'd be happy to answer those for you. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe for more active campaign tutorials and hit the like button so we can reach more people just like you with this content. That's it from me. I'll see you next tutorial. Cheers.